hello friends uh, in this video we will see how we can use an infinite scroll by an example in ionic 6 capacitor app so let's create a code on a page so this is the scroll page with some ts file html page so let's write code on ts file first So first let's declare a data of type array, empty array and inside ng on it let fill some data inside data array. So let's where i is equal to 0, i less than 10 and i plus plus. For inside this loop let's add some data by using push method and date dot now dot to a string so for the length 10 some data are entered inside data array so this is happen when the page load now let's create a method load data and there is a event as a parameter so basically when we scroll to the bottom on the html page this method will be called and filled another data inside this data array so you can basically you can write here a data with connection api calling code here but i am not calling any api here so i just uh, to show you the loader uh, bottom loader i will put set timeout function here so this is for example basically everyone creates the api calling code here to call the data retrieve data from the database and bind to the ui so i'm not going to call any api we just uh use set time set timeout function to show you how it's it works actually so let's create a set timeout function for the delay of two second and let's put some data inside data array again So when the app load this ng on it for loop is called and when the user is called to the bottom this function is called load data and it will fill another uh, 10, 10 record inside data array every time user is called to the bottom it fills again and again uh, 10, 10 records more so basically we have to uh, when when what we do we just uh, stop this processing when we re recover all the data on the ui so let's put a condition here for putting the condition let's uh, call event dot target dot complete means uh, uh, now it means event dot target completes meaning that uh, uh, processing is done you can bind the records to the ui and let's put condition now if data this dot data dot length is equal to 1000 let's close the this processing so next time user will scroll to the bottom no scrolling will be no data loading sign will be shown on the ui so basically disabled is equal to true so this is the function this is the property of event target dot disabled is equal to true it means uh, our data all data is retrieved to the uh, html page so hope you understand the sts part now let's move to the html part we have to put some uh, tags here ionic on tag for ionic ion is um infinite scroll before using that tag let's bind the initial data of data array so 
we will use ng for sorry let d of data and let's use interpolation to bind the record and now inside ion list we will use the exact ion sprite and that is ion infinite scroll and inside this ion infinite scroll content and inside each tag we have some properties like we have write three sold is equal to 100 pixel it means uh, a space uh, exact space of showing a uh, loader sign inside the bottom of the html page is the height of 100 pixel and uh, when user scroll to the bottom which function will be called so there is a event infinite ion infinite and we pass the method load data this method so this is the required things and now inside an infinite is called content we pass loading test text as uh, please wait or you can write anything like loading and loading spinner we can mention loading spinner also like bubbles so above is an list and below is an infinite scroll tag so when user scroll to the bottom for getting more data this infinite scroll uh, tag will be come into play and it will show the loading sign and load more data until it is to the length thousand until it is to the length thousand uh, records so let's check on the browser before testing on browser let's push some more record like uh, 25 25 length as initial length of the array and now we can check here so it is loading now 10 length is very lower so we can't able to scroll i think we can add we have to add more data let's say it's 30 So now it's okay and now let's try to scroll as you can see it's showing page weight and more data is appended so every time i scroll to the bottom it's appending more data more data and so on until until it is to the thousand length so this is the exact way to implement an infinite scroll hope you like this if you like this please subscribe the channel like the video will be back soon with some other video thank you